Dragon Ball Dimer. I'm going to die because you made Dragon Ball Dimer. I mean, seriously, what's up with Tori Animation with this fucked up idea that's just like the beginning of Dragon Ball GT? Oh, the opening has a rave. That makes me feel better. Honestly, I was way better while I was watching Dragon Ball Heroes. Now, I love Dominic Big D, but what separates me from, you know, um, Dragon Ball YouTubers like Geekdom 101 is the fact that I know that, you know, um, a Dragon Ball, you know, series where a bunch of children is childish, you know? But there's a second part, you know, I was... You know, if there's any part of me that was gonna watch Dragon Ball Daima, it would have to be for the animation, and let me tell you, it actually is a good anime. So, let's start off with, literally, um, how the first episode actually dragged you in, and since it is, you know, a good, um, two-part series that, you know, um, I started, you know, saying at the end of the episode that, um, you can't watch every Dragon Ball series, including GT, without watching Dragon Ball Daima. It's actually that good. And similar to, you know, um, Blue Dragon, I watched Blue Dragon earlier this year, which is also, you know, choreographed by Toriyama, who also made, you know, Chrono Trigger, and, you know, um, also designed many video game characters. But it's fucking horrible. In this episode, the arc contributes, literally, even 18 is a fucking child, and she has a baby. And Never Gonna Give You Up, Master Roshi, is even fucking worse. And one thing for Dragon Ball, you know, continuity is that Goku Jr., you know, um, Goku Jr., and, you know, um, Vegeta Jr. tournament at the end of, you know, the Dragon Ball GT saga was actually, you know, um, way better. And it's actually a big, you know, um, familiarity where it comes to this. So, as, you know, um, Midget Goku and Midget Jita literally, um, travel to the spaceship. There's, you know, um, various things that have to do with this episode, like, Glorio, you know, looking like, um, an extra from Xenoverse, you know, um, actually looking like, um, Toa, and, you know, I think Miwa from, you know, the Dragon Ball, uh, Xenoverse universe. It's a pretty good episode, you know, um, a big introduction, you know, um, all, you know, um, the characters, um, being small isn't that big of a problem, but it is, um, so like I said, you know, um, it's a decent, you know, um, anime. Hopefully we get some action. And, you know, um, I agree with Vegeta in this episode that, um, they need the Dragon Balls to make them, you know, um, older again. So, um, the premise of Dragon Ball Daima, you know, comes around, you know, a Supreme Kai from another universe, possibly, you know, a multiverse, literally, in a Kami, you know, um, and also the Elder Kai Dende, the Guardian of Earth, has turned into a baby, and, you know, um, I can't believe they're actually doing this, but it is, you know, um, Playing off the original Dragon Ball formula, so I'm not hating. I'm just saying I'd rather watch Dragon Ball AF compared to this shit. So you have to understand, you know, um, the first episode was cool, you know, we had premise, you know, we had everything, um, but when they actually got their wish, I was like, eh, uh, maybe not a, so anyway, this is MT, and, um, this is a Dragon Ball Daima episode 2 review.